Alexis made international headlines when she became the first transgender contestant on America's Next Top Model. Earlier this season, Isis was introduced to Dr. Marcy Bowers, who's the country's premier genital reassignment surgeon. And last month, Isis underwent the surgery, and today she's sharing her, st her story publicly for the very first time. I have to ask you, we were talking about the, the anatomical changes and the medical things that you've done. Now I want to get to pleasure. Oh, yes. Can ISIS achieve orgasm now after the gender reassignment surgery? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can answer that mm. one for you. <laughs> what do you think? Of course. You think yes? Um, before I even had the surgery, I've done research for it for many years. I know that Mama Marcy was the best. <laughs> and I know that, you know, with any surgery, it's always a chance that something isn't possible. But I've already notice, you know, my body changing and different things happening. So I know as soon as my time comes. So it is possible. <laughs> most, most patients are able to orgasm after surgery. Wow. Yes. I did not think that that was possible. That is fantastic. Now, Dr. Bowers is also transgendered. And is, but I'm not used to be transgender, now a woman, right? Yes. yes. I'm, really, I'm not transgender yeah, anymore. Yeah, you I used, used to be, to be transgender. transgender. Now is a woman. And we have the photos prior to your surgery, which I know that you don't really show. <laughs> but and if we must. <laughs> you're going to show them. Let's check Dr. Bowers out before her transition. Wow. <laughs> wow. You were hot. <laughs> well. I know, but that mustache was so last century, you know. <laughs> wow, so is that with your children and wife? Y yes, my spouse, yes. Uh -huh. Wow. My two, my two oldest girls. Is that you as a little boy? Well, yes. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh! And that's me. Wow. Sledding. So when did you know, we're, sh we're looking at all those pictures, when did you know that you were Well, a woman? I was very typical, like most transgender patients, is, is that I knew at, by age four or five that just, I, just something wasn't right, and I felt so much more connected with um, my sisters uh -huh. and, um, and other girls at the time. But so. then you got married. Well, you try to suppress it. You try to, yeah. do, you know, try to do what society tells you to do. And um, so I played all those cards, and um, you know, one of the things was to get married. So I did, but you just can't get rid of it, and it just continues to sort of nag at you. And so until you unite your body with your soul, you just can't just move forward. Just can't be whole. <laughs> and then I understand it was after your th th third child was born? Mm -hmm, that's that, right. And then how soon after did you announce to your spouse that it was right after? Just very shortly. Um, well, actually, he, uh, he still had not been born yet, and okay. I had already told her that I was taking hormones and was, you know, in the process of transitioning. And what did she say? Oh, it wasn't a good dinner, but yeah. um, <laughs> but you know what? We're just we're like sisters. She's I'm like the sister she never had, so we've stayed very close, yes. and um, uh, we just we moved on from it. And can I ask if you're in a relationship now? Can I, I ask am. That? I you am. are. I am. Nice. I am in a relationship. Right. I think it's great that ISIS has you as a mentor of somebody that has gone through this, and you know to be able to she's lived what you are living right now and I think that's the best mentor. Now, prior to Isis's surgery, it was very uncomfortable for her to be in a swimsuit. Do you remember that? It led to your elimination on Top Model. I remember that. She's like, you know, I have a swimsuit, and I have parts <laughs> that aren't necessarily the most comfortable in this swimsuit right now, Tara. And she's just struggling. Check this out. So I have my gender reassignment surgery. It's some things that I have to do extra that the other girls don't have to. I have on like three pair of undergarments just in case the tape did peel off because of the water. I'm so nervous about that. I think Isis was really concerned about wearing a swimsuit and posing in the water. Eyes wider. That photo landed Isis in the bottom two. And ultimately was the reason she was eliminated. Isis, what happened? You were supposed to go so far. The girl that we saw in those photos last season is not here. She's disappeared in her pictures and she's disappeared in personality. But if you want to be a model, you can. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now we have a more confident Isis. We obviously know what was holding her back at that top model photo shoot. So what we did is we had Isis do a brand new photo shoot after her surgery, a swimsuit photo shoot. Check this out. 
I'm feeling very good about the photo shoot right now. This is my first one post-surgery, and I'm ready to just get back out there and show everybody that, you know, I'm really ready, and I'm serious about this. We chose the ultra-hip and sexy rooftop pool at the Gansevoort Hotel as the backdrop for Isis's first swimsuit photo shoot since her surgery. And we have one of my favorite photographers, Carl Giant, to get the perfect shot. This is, you know, a beautiful, sexy location for a beautiful and sexy girl. Okay, we're good. We're ready for Isis. Giving it. Damn, I love it. That's great, beautiful, disgusting. That's so very sexy. Ooh, this is so bitchy fierce. The shot is golden. I got the bathing suit issue out of the way, and now I feel very confident and sexy. And after this, I can do anything. <laughs> All right. So. Are you ready to see your photos from that? Yes. Your best shots? My best shots. Okay, we chose three. Here's the first one. Laying by the pool. Sexy, sexy. And here's the next one. <laughs> and this is my final favorite. Leg, 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 leg. I love it. I love that picture. That one is my absolute favorite. What do you think? I love it. Yeah? It's obviously a lot more confidence than uh, Look before. at you. She's just like, open, just like, <laughs> hey, working it. I love that picture. I wish it was on Top Model Action. A little jealous. Now, uh, Desmond, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, no yeah. words. Great. No words. So why don't you take it from here? You tell us what you think your best shots are and all that. Um. What was your favorite? <laughs> You chose three. I chose three stones. One for the past, one for the present. Have a seat, Desmond. <laughs> Isis's ring comes from Love and Pride, the first online jeweler catering to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. Good luck. We'll be right 